Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from the code called longest common prefix. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. There is no common prefix return an empty string. Example one, we have the following strings, flower, flow, and flight. And the longest common prefix is FL. Example two, we have dog, race car, and car. There is no common prefix, so we return the empty string. We are given an array of strings and we just want to find the longest common prefix. Say we look at example one again, we have flower, flow, and flight. How do we do this? Well, we can just pick any word here to be our prefix. Say we pick flower. So right now I'm going to say my prefix is flower. Now what I want to do is go through my defined prefix here, character by character, and see if it matches up with the other strings in our array. So first I will check index zero. I see that they all have Fs over here. So we're good over here. Next character I want to check is L. There's an L here, an L here, and an L here. So right now our longest common prefix is definitely including F and L. Then I will check O. I have FLO here, FLO here, but there's no FLO here, which means FL is the longest common prefix. And say for flight instead, I did have FLO WIGHT. How do I compare this? At this point, I have FLO in all of them and FLOW in all of them as well. Next, I want to check E. So over here, I have FLOWE. And of course, I do. This is the same word as my prefix. But over here, I don't even have enough characters to compare with an E. So I would break and say flow is my longest common prefix. So that's all we really need to do. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. So to code this up, the first thing I want to do is define my prefix. So I'm going to say prefix is going to be the first word in my strings array. So strings of zero. Next, I want to loop through every single character of prefix. So for I in range length of prefix, for every index that I am on, I want to make sure that all the words in my string have the same character at that same index. So we're also going to loop through all the words in our strings array. So for word in strings, now I want to check if that character is the same as the one I have in my prefix for all the words in strings. If that's not the case, then we exit. So if I equals the length of word, so if either we don't have enough characters to compare, so say we're on index four, right? So zero, one, two, three, four, this is E over here, but this length is four. So it has no index four. It only goes from zero, one, two, three. So if that's the case, if I equals the length of a word, or if that's not the case, but the character at this word isn't equal to the character at prefix. So prefix of I is not equal to word of I. In that case, we know where we can cap our longest common prefix. So we're going to return prefix up until I. So everything up until not including I because it's not inclusive. And we make it all the way through without returning. That means whatever's in prefix is in every single other word and prefix will be our max limit. There's no character after prefix. So we just return what we have in prefix. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now before leaving, let's just do a quick walkthrough of our code with an example. Okay, say my input strings is the following array over here. I just want to go through my code line by line and see what I'm going to output here. First thing I do is define my prefix. So that's going to be the first element of my array. So that's just going to be T over here. And now I'm just looping through every index in my prefix. So I start off with zero. So I is going to equal zero and I'm going to go through every single word in my input strings. The first one I go through is here. I check if I equals the length of the word, it does not because I is zero or prefix of I is not equal to word of I. Prefix of I is T and word of I, so word at index zero is also T. So I don't return yet. So now I'm back in this for loop and I have Theo over here and I'm making a check. Does zero equal the length of this word? It doesn't. And I check what's at this character over here, index zero. That's a T and that matches with what we have at character zero of prefix as well. So we can go into this if condition we're out and we're back in this for loop for tames over here. Same thing, right? Zero does not equal the length of our word and T and T are there. We go back into the for loop. We check here, T and T are there. Length is not zero and same for this word as well. Now, once we're out of this for loop, we've checked all these words. We go back into this loop over here, but we can't continue going through it because we end at zero. So far, all the words match what we have in our prefix, which means what we're capped by is prefix, not the other word. So at the end of this for loop, we just return what we have in prefix and that's going to be T itself. And that makes sense, right? Anything past that, we don't have enough characters to have the longest common prefix between all of these words. So our final output would just be T. So we just went ahead and solved longest common prefix. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.